Now, for instance, you can ask the model, I'm just giving a question, who you are? Hi friends, in this video, I'll tell you what is Olama and how you can download and use it on Windows PC. I'll tell you about what is Olama. Olama is one of the easiest way to install large language model on your personal computer. Olama is a powerful open source platform that offers a customizable and easy accessible AI experience. It makes it easy to download, install and interact with various LLMs without needing to rely on cloud-based platforms or requiring any technical expertise. It connects with your AI and you will be able to use it from there. In addition to the above advantages, Olama is quite lightweight and is regularly updated which makes it quite suitable for building and managing LLM on your local machines. Thus, you don't need any external servers or complicated configurations. Olama also supports multiple operation systems including Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So the next step is to how you can download and install Olama. You can download and install Olama by two ways, either visiting the Olama's official download page or alternately you can download Olama from its GitHub page. So for that, you have to open your favorites browser. You can see that this is the GitHub page from where you can download the latest version or you can directly go to the browser and search for Olama download and just click on download Olama on Windows. Now just click on download for Windows preview. Now wait till the download is complete. Now once the download is complete, just open it and install it on your computer. Installer will close automatically after the installation is complete. Just click on install. Now you will get a notification here at Alama is running. Now if you don't see any notification, just click on taskbar or flow button and just look whether it is running. You can see that the Alama is running here. Now the next thing you have to do is customizing and using Olama. Once Olama is installed on your computer, the first thing you have to do is to change where it stores data. By default, the storage will be on C drive, which is where it stores a lot of data. Because the supporting AI model can be quite large and will be consuming the large amount of storage from the C drive. So you have to change the C drive, which that is assigned by default. To do that, first you have to quit the Olama. Now you can see that the Olama is exited from the screen. Now once that is exited, just click on open the start menu. And you have to type environment variable and you will get edit the system environment variable. Just select it. Now from here, just go to advanced and then click on environment variables. Now here, just click on new variable and give the name olama underscore models then in the second field type the location of the directory where you want olama to store its model in the variable value field now either you can browse the directory from here or you can directly mention it here then once you have done that click on ok and click OK here. Now close down this window. Now you are ready to start using Olama. And you can do this with Meta's Llama 3.8b. This is the latest open source AI model from the company. To run the model, you can launch the command prompt that is CMT. Just type in CMT. Just open it. And from here, just run the command. Now remember that this model is close to 5 GB so downloading it may take time so wait till the download completes. Now you can see that the download is completed. Now you can close down this window. Now once the download is complete 
you can restart the command prompt again and you can start using llama 38b and converse with it directly in the command line window. You can start llama again, type llama and run. Now for instance, you can ask the model, I'm just giving a question, who you are? I would start responding back. Now you can continue the conversation and ask the AI model questions and various topics. Just keep in mind that Llama 3 can make mistakes and hallucinate, so you should be careful when using it. So hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.